Hi guys, so I'd mentioned in my last video that I had a new software that I was using and I was going to share it with you guys. So here it is, the new software that I found. It's called ShipDropper. Probably most of you have heard it before and I'm like the last guy to figure it out, but I think it's super cool so I wanted to share it just in case you haven't heard of it because using ShipDropper I've been able to put up, I put up like 2,500 Amazon listings in less than a week. So it's definitely a cool tool and I'll show you the pricing later. It's actually pretty inexpensive for what it does. It's kind of like, you know, it takes the whole theory that we learned with DS Genie and I mean it only does Amazon products but yeah, it makes the whole process very simple. So if you look here, first thing you see is the search bar. Now what you put in the search bar is just like you find a you find a drop shipper that you're pretty sure is at least doing some Amazon. And you put it in here. So this guy's a pretty big seller. <clears throat> and I know he has Amazon in there among other things. So you just put the name in there and you hit return. There we go. And then see all the pages here. That's all the pages of this this seller's listings. And these are all of his listings. So you can go through one by one and take a look at them. And it'll show you when you hit find on Amazon. It'll find it on Amazon here. And then this is eBay up here. And it'll tell you what the profit is. There's a negative profit on this one. But you can go down through a few of them. Some of them don't have an Amazon match. Maybe it's sourced somewhere else. Um, I know he had quite a few, but there wasn't a ton in the beginning. So there's one with a tiny bit of profit. But you can go through. Okay, so we'll stop on this one. That's a decent profit. And the other cool thing about this is once you've clicked on an item and there's a match found, this little bar pops up in between with other sellers that sell this product. So you can just click on it. It'll open up a new ship dropper with that seller's name already there and all of their items. So you could go ahead and go through and click them all so that you could check out those guys later come back to this one go down through and from here when you do find a match you can actually click this little star up here or no that's for that's for making the seller go on your favorites if you hit this save this product it'll add the product to your products page but I don't want to do that because there's another feature and every time you search a seller it gets saved in your sellers list like the sellers list is huge some of them are real small sellers some of them are big you can click the star and it'll add to your favorites up here but then okay so after you search the seller then you can go over to the scanner this is the really cool part okay so hit new scan now you can't run a scan on a seller until you've at least put it into the search just kind of like a quirk with this software. So if you've searched it, then you can go over here to new scan and you can type, start typing the name and you'll see it comes up in the drop down and you select the name. Um, these things are, it tells, it shows you only things that are like a 90% match, meaning the eBay listing matches the Amazon listing. And then the confidence has the same to do with that but I'll explain in the end why that doesn't necessarily matter so much the way I use the software if you're using it differently then you may care about that part then I put a really low minimum profit because I want to see everything and then with the package that I have I can run up to eight pages in one scan so I start at page one I go through page eight I click that I want prime only 
and then you want to sync the results to your to your products page so that they show up here in the products page when you do a scan. Now you're doing eBay US and I think I have to move me here. This is the cool part. You can say in the last 30 days it has to have sold four times. See a lot like what DS Genie will do. Okay, so I mark four times, I hit scan seller, and that's gonna start scanning. Now I can run up to three scans at once with my package. So what I like to do is just um I like to just scan that seller's like his first three sets of pages. So now I would go to page nine through sixteen and I would hit scan on that. Ah, seller not selected, okay. Put him in there, hit scan, and then I'll go and scan for my third scan, say page 17 through, what would it be, 24 I think is eight more. Okay, hit scan for that. Now that's gonna scan through all of this guy's listings and it's only going to show me the listings that have sold four or more times in the last 30 days with at least a minimum profit of 10 cents. Now you can change that to whatever you want to change that to. Um, like I said, I just want to see I want to see as much as I can and then go from there. Okay, so we'll come back to the products page after those scans run for a little while. Um, if you go to more this is where your information is, um, your billing information. You can put log in with your eBay account, and then nobody can run you in a search with this software. If you're logged in, you're protected. And then you put in your break even percentage. I put 12.9. You can decide what you want there. And then minimum sold. Now, this, this part. I mean, you can put four there, but this part is just going to do, like when you initially do the search and you pull in that seller's items, that's what this is filtering. So I just put one there. And then I also only want it to show me things that are priced at at least $15 to a max of $250. Okay, so those are my settings. You can do what you want with it, really. We'll go back and check out the products page and you see here it's already showing me a few I think I had a couple in here anyway but I've gained a couple more so it shows you the picture the comparison you can click view on eBay you can click view on Amazon I tend to steer clear of anything like like socks that are obviously gonna have sizes I would just delete those because I don't really want to list things like that so, okay, let's check out the prices. I think that's on here while we let that scan run. Okay, so the beginner is only $11.99 a month. It's pretty good price software for what it does. But this does not have the scanner. All it has is the search. So you could go and search your seller, and you could sit here and manually decide which ones you want to star and save to your products page but I like to do things quickly and as automated as possible so then if you look at these two middle ones they're actually the same plan as far as what they do they both have the search engine they both have the ability to scan and can do three scans at a time up to eight pages the only difference is this one's ten ninety nine per week in case I guess you just want to try it out and you don't want to pay the thirty seven ninety nine right away you just want to like test drive it maybe um, use it for a week and just get a ton of listings and then cancel however you want to do it but I did this $37.99 plan um, and then I don't know I guess if you really this one will do five scans at one time and unlimited pages so you could just tell it to literally scan through all of a seller's page I think that's kinda overkill I think one of these two plans would be fine so anyway the pricing's not too bad and we'll go back to the products page. Let's see. Let's look at the scanner. You can see the scanner while it's scanning. 
seems to be scanning pretty slowly. A lot of times I'll just I'll turn these scans on and just walk away for a while and then I'll come back and I'll start another scan. We've got quite a few products here on the products page. We're up to 47 now. So here's the cool part that makes it so simple. When I mentioned before that you don't necessarily have to um, have to worry about these two pictures matching. There's two different ways to export the results from your products page. You can you can take the ASINs and the titles, which I don't do, or you can just take the ASINs. So if you click on this, you're going to get a list. Now, you just I wait for the scans to be done or I build up to however many products I want to build up to. All of these ASINs are products that have matched up with a listing on eBay that has sold at least four times in the last 30 days. That's my criteria that I go by when I'm listing, so these are all good, if you ask me. So then I just copy the whole list, hop over into DSM. DSM's bulk uploader, by the way, is working really well now. It wasn't. I guess people were having a lot of trouble with it before. Everybody's been knocking DSM. I don't know. Maybe, like, people had so much trouble with DS Genie, too, and I never did with the tracking and SKU Grid and their tracking. I never had trouble with it, so maybe I'm just lucky when it comes to things. But DSM works well for me. So, anyway, you could take these, you copy them, post them in the bulk uploader in DSM, or whatever listing software that you use. You've got a really simple way. And that was just, look, we're at 47 products already. And this scanner is, let's see, we can refresh it and see. This scanner is not even half done. So, and we're at 64 products already. So that's just one seller. Imagine if you took a little time, like a day, and just ran a whole ton of sellers. How many products you can put up. So, yeah, there's that. Take take your ASINs, put them in your auto uploader, upload them. You got a lot of good listings, really simple, really quick. So, um, this only works for Amazon, though. I really wish there was something that made listing Walmart this simple. <laughs> um, I know that DS Genie is kind of having, going through a rocky spell <laughs> right now and a lot of people are getting frustrated about it. So the one thing I wanted to point out is DS Genie has like its little brother software that initially was put out there for people who uh, just starting out couldn't afford the 150 a month for DS Genie or you know so it does a lot of what DS Genie does it's called Shopify and I think it's 40, I think it's $49 a month. I'll, I'll go grab the link and put it in the description. And I think I'm going to do a video in the next couple days about how to use it. Because as far as sniping and searching, um, Shopify doesn't list your items. It doesn't really do anything for your store, but it's more of just a research tool. You can put the seller in, you can scan all their items and get all the results of all their items that have sold four or more times in the last 30 days. It lets you click on the, you know, click on the picture, it takes you, searches the picture for the source. I'll do a video about it because it's pretty cool and when it comes to Walmart and researching Walmart sellers and Walmart listings, I think that's your best bet. So, I'll put a link in the description for that. I'm also going to put a link in the description for ShipDropper. It is an affiliate link, but I don't share anything with you guys that I don't personally use myself, and I had to share this because I think it's super cool. Like I said, I put up 2,500 listings in like less than a week. I don't know. I was just doing it in my spare time in the evenings, and I think probably more like just a couple days I was able to put up that many listings. So... It's definitely, definitely something I've been using, definitely worth trying out. So if you want to bulk up your listings, definitely check it out. And Okay, so make sure you hit the subscribe button because I always forget to say that. <laughs> I'm not so great at self-promoting. But I love sharing cool stuff with you guys and I love the feedback that I get. Everybody's always so kind. 
and it really makes me feel good and gives me motivation to keep doing videos like this. So, alright guys, have an awesome night. Peace out.